Hello y'all. Welcome to part two of my Rene Guinan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part one, Rene Guinan cooed the government of Morocco and now he's in power and he has plans to maybe fight Spain in the near future by launching the Re Reconquista. And right now we're doing a focus reason over reality and we're also trying to build up our army. So that's taking place. Malta joined the Third International. That is the French faction. It consists of the UOB, France, the Commune of France, and the Socialist Republic, Socialist Republic of Italy. And now Malta is a part of that. That's what they're doing. And in our focus tree, reasonable reality will be done in less than 30 days. Well, actually, I think it will anyway. Manuel Carles assumed full control of Argentina and South America and that country there. And right now we're just trying to train some militia. Let's actually start trying to train some infantry divisions, maybe. We can do that. And how is our navy doing? We just have a few ships. We have an admiral. Let's get him in charge of that naval force. It's just a bunch of destroyers. There's a coup d'etat in Siam. Construction one. Research is done. Now let's start researching, maybe. Let's get support weapons one done. And let's set up a offensive line into the Rif here, I think it's called. Like... RIF, have this done. White Sun over China, that's some event about a book, I think. Yeah, this is the Rift. We're going to try and take it once we're officially at war with Spain. We also got to worry about the Rio de Oro. We're going to have to send troops down there once we have them available to us. And reason or reality will be done. When that focus is done, we'll get a bunch of things like military factories, civilian factories, and naval dockyards. We'll probably do something else after that's done. T Death of T.G. Masaryk. That has occurred. Let's do what's this focus? Advaita fin Vedanta. Advaita Vedanta is the most widespread form of Vedanta philosophy. It is the non-dual dualistic doctrine of the Vedanta. Vedanta Advaita literally means not two. Its fundamental pr fundamental principle asserts the non-differentiation of individ individuality or the individual soul and the totality Brahman which is neutral. Gunan and a great supporter of this noble philosophy, which you must therefore include in our doctrine. I think the last part of that focus there is trying to say Gunan is a great supporter of this philosophy, which we must there which means we must therefore include it in our doctrine. And once this focus is done, we'll get a ton of base war support and base war stability, and some party popularity will also switch around. And just so if you're unaware, Rene Gunan in real life was a French intellectual and philosopher, he was very big into Muslim Islamic esotericism and metaphysics. The Busan Treaty has occurred. That affects China, I think. We have some free military factories. Let's start making some guns. And we'll make more guns. We have... What can we do here? We have stuff we can do with our... Maybe... What can we do with this? I don't know. Rise of the Socialist Muslim Committee. Okay. Can we make some convoys? I just need convoys. Anything with convoys. Thank you, convoys. All I need is convoys. Let's also trade with someone for some steel. Possibly Flanders. Wallonia will agree to it. I don't care how many factories we have to give up for that. We just need a lot of steel. Well, not steel, but iron, I think it's called. Is it iron or steel? It is steel. Yeah, not iron. What am I thinking? The 1936 Vienna Summer Olympics have occurred. That has happened. And our troops are moving toward the Rift again. Well, more militia we have trained. Royalist Siam declared war on Parliamentary Siam. A civil war is going on in that Southeast Asian country, Southwest Asian country, and, well, Southeast Asia, what am I saying? Yet a Thram Rung, I can't say that, but it's going on in Thailand right now. There's a civil war, and Georgia has joined the Reichspakt, the German faction, and our officer corps. Let's get maybe Air High Command, get that done. And let's also get a Spirit of the Army, Mau Mau Jackals of Kenya. That's some book event. We're going to get maybe, what can we get here? Let's get professional professional officer corps and reserve officers just to have faster division training time. Let's also pick up a spirit of the Naval Academy, instill aggression, Advata Vendenta is done. Now let's do pray to Allah. A man must always be attached to his faith. The true faith, well according to Gunan and this focus, is Islam. God is on our side as he has shown in bringing us to power. We must pray and implore him to give us his help in any form. And from this focus, we will receive two nukes and some party popularity, ideology popularity, will shift around 
in the esoteric realm of the true France. And that focus will be ready, well, will be done in 35 days. How many more divisions can we get recruited, please? Okay, so we have another infantry division recruited. Get them over to the first Moroccan army, or well, the first army of the esoteric true realm of France. We definitely need to set up a few divisions to keep an eye on the Rio de Euro. We'll push down there once we're ready. And, well, once the Re Reconquista is underway, and the Re Reconquista will see us fight Spain, and that will be very fun. I, I assume it will be fun anyway. We'll see how it goes for us. And modify officer corps, coup d'etat in Algiers. That has taken place. A military junta is now in charge of that place, I thought, or I don't know. Something's happened there to the to our what to our east in Algiers. Now let's get the spirit of the navy, Jules Nicole. Destroyers are the future. We need a lot of destroyers. And let's get possibly an anti let's get a navy focused decisive battle. Command focus done. We'll have that selected as our Navy command focus. Jabal Shamar declared war on Yij. That's in what would be Saudi Arabia in our timeline. And those two countries are fighting each other for control of Arabia, essentially. And I never really realized it, but in this timeline, Yemen is really big. Wow, they're huge. Pretty large. Unassigned divisions. We have some infantry ready. Get them over to the, you know who, the first Moroccan army. And now in our focus tree, let's do prepare to reconquista. The Spanish have apparently sinned by driving the noble Muslims out of their just Iberian land hundreds of years ago. The Reconquista, the Re Reconquista is one of our primary objectives at this time, and we must be prepared to do anything to bring this project to fruition. We will get 50,000 50, units of rifles once this focus is done. And we have a research slot available. Let's start getting, let's research the Mauser 98B weapon technology. Support weapons. And we have, let's do well in our research tree, we have a free slot, so let's get ex excavation one done. There's a parliamentary parliamentarian victory in Siam, that civil war is over, that has come to an end. Modify officer core, let's get maybe air focus, close air support for our air force command, because, because close air support is very important. The socialist state of Siam defeated the kingdom of Cambodia, apparently, let me see that, let's go over there. Yes, I am defeated the they defeated the they defeated Cambodia and their that other faction in the Civil War we have another infantry division ready send them over to the army station near the Rif and we should have more units ready very soon the Zhejiang Xinjiang clique declared war on the Mongolian Khanate so did the Ma clique there's a lot of war going on it seems in where is it in Western China at this time. There's also that conflict still going on in India between Afghanistan and the Dominion of Delhi, who is part of the Entente faction. And Afghanistan has made some advances, but they do seem to be losing some ground. And it looks like Jabal Shamar defeated Nijd in, where is it, Saudi Arabia, well, Arabia, in the Arabian Peninsula. That's going on. And it looks like some Afghan divisions are stuck in Balochistan. They're just holding out there. We have another infantry division ready, so let's assign them to our main fighting force. And now let's do the focus in our focus tree, rhetoric over dialectic. Some quote philosophers, such as Plato, have denounced rhetoric as a dangerous and faithless thing, allowing to convince anyone of anything. For Gunan, rhetoric is the art of expression, both beautiful and subtle, as valuable as drawing or music. Rhetoric will be put in the spotlight in the four corners of the world, thanks to Gunan. And from this focus, we'll get a very nice national spirit called Rhetoric over Dialectic. That will be done. Dialectic, whatever. Modify Officer Corps, so let's get a Army Command focus. Let's go with Army Focus Offense, because that will give us higher division attack. And we're going to be a very offensive-oriented military, as the esoteric realm of the true France. Mustafa Kemal sees power. That has happened. And once we get these infantry divisions here trained, we're probably going to send a few of them down to maybe send a few of them. Let's get some cavalry divisions trained also. I feel like two of them being made at a time compared to the huge host of infantry we have being trained. And Alf Landon has become President of the United States and Admiral, Ko Ad Admiral Kochak was murdered in Transamir. So Transamir, a country in Asia, well, in Siberia, I think we'll get a new leader. And let's actually have a second army set up now to go watch the Rio de Oro and try to push into that area that region 
once we start to re-reconquista just to watch our flank so the Spanish don't come up from there and destroy our chances at defeating them. Let's also have a division watch this one port there, which the Spanish control for some reason. We also maybe need some divisions to defend our ports. They'll be like garrisoned units. We have a field marshal here. Also, Rene Gunan is a field marshal now. I think he has been due to a focus. I just sort of forgot he was. And let's have the third army watch our ports. They'll do garrison duty. That's their goal. Just make sure the Spanish don't like land with a bunch of troops that will try to take out our take our victory points with naval invasions. Give them the color of red. That will be the garrison division army color. Norway joined the third international. They faction with the UOB, the Union of Britain, the Communist France, the Socialist Republic of Italy, and Malta. So they're firmly on the side of that faction. Norway is who is radical socialist, although you had to keep their king as radical socialist, which is interesting. And we have low manpower. It's whatever, though. Can we change our law at all? Let's go to extensive conscription. That will increase training time, but it's whatever. Let's also have partial mobilization done. Let's set up the offensive line to push into Rio de Ouro once the war begins officially. Rhetoric over dialectic is done. Now let's do launch to Reconquista. After long preparations, we are fin finally ready. Our men are eager to cross the Straits of Gibraltar and liberate Europe. For Gunan and for God, we will avenge our loss of 1492. And when that focus is done, we will declare war on the Kingdom of Spain. And I think that focus is referring to 1492, when I think a Granada, the last, how to say the Emirate of Granada, the last independent Muslim realm in Iberia, was defeated by the Kingdom of Castile, which was the end of the Reconquista. So I think that's what it's referring to. I could be wrong, I will admit. And in our focus, well, research tree, let's get construction too. Also, I didn't mention it, but the Integralists were victorious in Brazil, so now there is the Regency of Brazil, led by a guy with a very nice hat, I will say that much. And let's unpause at this point, modify Officer Corps, Spirit of the Naval Command, let's get maybe, what do we have? Bureau of Ordnance, Brave Commanders, Monarchist Restoration in Georgia has taken place. I wonder if they have a, I didn't read the event, I just exited out of it, I wonder if they have a German or a Georgian king, let me check. They have a, they have a German king, that's the son of Wilhelm II, the Kaiser of the German Empire. It makes sense considering the Kingdom of Georgia, well, Georgian Kingdom, is part of the Reich's Pact German faction. So yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Modify Officer Corps, let's get a Fleet Logistics High Command, Doctrines avail available for the Air Doctrine, let's do Battlefield Support, and once we have enough Army EXP, we'll do Mass Assault Doctrine, because actually we could do, possibly, let me check what this division template is, let's actually just do, yeah, Mass Assault, more divisions are ready, give a few over to the Second Army, let's actually take a few divisions from the Third Army, and give them to the first army because we don't really need too many divisions to do garrison duty frankly at this time so give these over to the first army so that would put now 15 divisions in the first army of the esoteric realm of the true france and the reconquista will be ready in just a few days we have 49 days well that focus was supposed to take 49 days and at this point we're at the 30 day mark so it should be ready to go in the near future and after it started we'll push into the rift as well as the rio the Uro, and by doing that we'll drive the Spanish out of Africa and then we'll move into Iberia. Well, we'll try to anyway. The Kokan Khanate has joined the Balkaran Union, that's going on there. And once we take over the Rift, we'll move our navy over to this area here. How many convoys do we have? 67. I'm just counting convoys because we will need a good portion of them for naval invasions. The Sheng Jun Sheng Ching Ching Gao Ching Go has capitulated, that's in China, something involving warlords over there. And we're just waiting, counting down the days for Reconquista to begin. And it started, Excavation 1 is done, well it's almost done, yeah there it is. So we can now fight Spain, and research slot available. Let's go with Concentrated Industry 2, we're going to start pushing into the Rift now and take over this area for the esoteric true realm of Morocco, well, True France, the esoteric realm of the True France. Take this port, please. Secure that for us. Push down here, get this last port, and capture all this for Rene Gunan's Morocco. And these Spanish have lost the Rift, and they're soon going to lose the rest of Rio de Ouro. They have no more ports here, I think, so it's totally going to fall to our control. And what we're going to do now at this point is set up a naval invasion order. Well, actually, multiple naval invasion orders to try and land in Iberia, like in Gibraltar. That's going to be done as well as Malaga, 
Malaga. That's done. Two divisions here. Two divisions for Almeria. Almeria. They'll try to land there. And let's put two divisions with their goal of taking, say, Cartagena. That's going to be done. And with that being established, with those naval orders being set up, I'm going to end... Well, I'm, let me move my navy over here to that port in the rift. I'm going to end part two of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough and Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. Have an awesome day.